So I just have, have, have a that's a typical techno whatever thing. Yeah? So don't don't listen too much if you're in melodic techno. You can do different stuff as well. But this is what what we're after. We wanna we wanna find something that is st distinguished. It's a forward backward system. So it's actually playing the same one and going back up or down. But um, in music, the question answer thing is a, where people tend to be attractive to. They, they like this. It's one instrument says something and s another one answers. Well, with this back forward, you get kind of the same impression. It's saying, no, 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 no. Well, this is the way, this is the <coughs> reason why a lot of people use it, because it works. It works. It doesn't mean everybody needs to use it now suddenly, but I'm just gonna, I wanna show you why <coughs> and how. That's it. Do you always use the, the Ableton EQs for, for your basic EQs? Let's say yes, because pff, they're not bad at all, uh, to be honest. It's, that there are better ones which are like with linear phase, etc. it's better, but it's gonna eat up your CPU yeah. hugely. And there is not, in, in production phases, there is not really a big difference. Okay. If you use them on mixing and mastering later on in different <coughs> sessions, then it's better to use good and quality uh, EQs. But not, I think it's not necessary in production. So just keep an eye on, um, you have the, the darker green and the, the lighter green. The lighter green is the peaks the darker green is the RMS. That's the one that we tend to feel as loud or not. So the darker green is, if you, if you have the impression something is not loud enough, it's because your darker green is not loud enough. If you have too much peaks, you should start to handling those peaks. I'm gonna over exaggerate now, but to, that you can see the difference. Um, if I use this plugin and I put it fully on, look, it's only green, dark green. It just stained all the peaks gone my peaks are gone this is not the way to do it eh? so you should start blending slowly a little bit more but that you have at least an, an idea that most of the peaks are kind of tamed it's not going too much like this the, the lighter peak. the way why I used this in from the soft mode and changed a little bit is because I'm only interested in, in the soft part of this 909 because with the trash I'm gonna add the other part, the harder part. This is, of course, this is a, a full-blown kick now already. You can start blending stuff huh? if you want. You can say, okay, I don't need that much in this frequency. You can start blending dry wet signals to get more of, of the, the attack phase or not. Same for, uh, for the lower part, if you're already okay with the lower part, but you hear the difference. And this is pure saturation uh, on the lower part, so it automatically brings up everything. Track spacer, what it does, if I put it like this and I put the sidechain from the kick, you can see the kick go, see? So, if I put on this ratio, it will cut out every time that the kick goes in in this frequency, it will cut out the bass. But specific only on this frequency. The other plugin I need to narrow on where I want. And if you do normal sidechain compression with a normal compressor, it's everywhere. So it's ducking the whole thing, the whole signal. Yeah, and with this, uh, with, with this amount you can literally narrow even until a band that you want. That's much easier, yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah. Yeah. This, this is a very nice plugin, so use it if you can use it, but still, if, if you want to have other methods, Neutron is one of the other methods. So just put something in the middle, just to give you the feel. What it it's those little ghost things. Next thing what I would add then is something like, for example, this. Or this. 
it's those kind of EQs emulations. Why? Again, not a lot of buttons, not a lot of options. It's more in a broad way boosting slightly stuff. Because you just cut out the shit, compress the signal. Now if you have a clear signal, now you want to kind of maybe lift a little bit stuff or lower a little bit stuff, but in a broad way, not in a too narrow way. And it will be working with my sequence because it's coming from the same nature. That's nice. Because I don't need to search for the exact pot which is correct, etc. Everything is there. Everything what you need. It's in key. It's your same feel. And it's just built on the same principle. But I'm sure the rumble you will hear. Because it's a higher thing. And it's the same thing, you can play a little bit around with all those parameters here to have an idea where does it fit, how do we want it to sound, etc. Again, I'll just show you, the, yes, shitload of those things. Um, don't try to invent the wheel again if it's not necessary. But learn from it and build your own. That's what I do. If I see stuff like this, there is stuff that is for me interesting, but there is stuff that I don't like either. So I will take this and then start changing it. It is again a different kind of pot. You can even hear your sequence kind of inside. But this is how you build in another way a pot. Now at least you have something more unique. Okay, maybe too much randomization of But it will make your tracks sound much more like adult. There's nothing wrong with uh, in-between beats, right? Huh? <laughs> it still works. I would start cutting out stuff. Okay, not bass, but let's say I, I don't want to have those. And of course, I need more MIDI sequences, audio signals, etc. This is the way how I would build things. For me, it's not a problem, but if you then play it in a club system where they do have sub, yeah. it's like you never had a bass. <laughs> you know, these kind of slopes or even something like this is okay, but I'm gonna be honest, I don't tend to use this. I would use a low shelf and do this. Cue it a little and then you have the same principle as the other one. It will do. Mm. Because they say for every cut you should boost. It's not always true, true, but it's a good habit. So I would use some compressor like this, which is a kind of bus compressor, but for a mastering system more. Mm -hmm. I really like this one. It's very good for techno because it, it has a faster, yeah, let's say faster response in a way. The attacks are much more rounded, not too heavy. The most transparent limiter ever, which is this one already, of course, it's version six but it's a very very good limiter because it actually has everything what you need in mastering 